Hi everybody, today I'm working on a 2012 Chevy Equinox and I'm going to replace the front brakes starting with the right front. I just put a new caliper on here not too long ago when I replaced the wheel hub. First the wheel hub failed, then the caliper failed, and when the old caliper failed it seized closed and the brake was applying onto the rotor while it was being driven. And because of that the rotor warped. So now when you drive on the highway and you step on the brakes you get a pulsation. So that's why I'm going to install a new rotor and put on a new set of pads. Nice new bolts because it's a new caliper. Alright, cool. Wow, that's like really dirty, man. Look at that. What the heck is going on there? Uh, hopefully that's just water. Yeah, I think that's just water. These old pads actually aren't too bad, but they're definitely a little bit crispy. And that one's got some uneven wear on it. Okay, might as well pop the clips off because I got new ones. And let's get those bolts. Yep, 18. These are not new bolts. These are the ones that came with the car. All right, very good. That's really, it's got a lot of brake dust on it. Uh, still has the bolt. Okay. Pretty sure it's a T30. Yep, T30. There's that little screw. see how blue the rotor is because it really overheated. Not good. Let me just quick wipe this down. I 
This hub is pretty new, like I said. I just installed this, I don't know, two months ago. And here's the new rotor. And this is an AC Delco rotor. So it's a factory rotor and it's coated. So hopefully it won't rust up real bad. I'll put the mounting bracket back on. Here's the box for the rotor. It's the uh, AC Delco Advantage. And there's the part number, which I'll post in the description below. And here's the brake pads I'm using tonight. They're Wagner Thermo Quiets QC1421. So, pretty standard. Come with some instruction papers. Of course, you've got new clips and a set of pads. Put the clips on first. Relatively easy, they just snap into place. Okay, now I'm going to go look up the torque value for the mounting bracket, and I'll torque that down to spec. Okay, well, the torque spec is 140, so I've got my torque wrench all set. I'm going to tighten the two caliper mounting bracket bolts. All right, now for the brake pads. So there's two different types of pads here. One that has a squealer and one that doesn't. And this one with the squealer always goes on the inside. Now I have to turn the piston in a little bit because it's sticking out too far. I have to make room for the new brake pads which are thicker than the old ones. I'll just get on here with my C-clamp and crank it in. That should be good. All right, now I can put the caliper back on. Should have turned it in a little bit more. All right. All right, here's the new bolt.
in the second bolt. Now these only, the torque spec for these is 20 foot-pounds, which you can just do by hand. You just have to snug them up. Okay. All right, well, there you have it. Replacing the front brakes on a 2012 Chevy Equinox. Pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.